from, I don't know the name of the group, the unique unique singers, amen, thank God for Sister Pam, Sister Selena, and Brother Nehemiah, amen, amen. So that he's going to make everything all right. Yes. He's, he's the man you call when anything is going wrong. Yeah. Not your mom and not your daddy, not even the preacher. Call Jesus. Yeah. He'll make everything all right. Yes. Glory. Hallelujah. Yeah, we done tried, God. We knew he made everything all right for us and still trying to make some things right. In the name of Jesus, we just want to thank God. Thanks, Sister Sanders, for um, inviting for the house and the man of the night, everybody in the pulpit, and everybody in the yard. We thank you all to, you know, but it's a good thing to be alive and well. We just want to say thank you. We're going to do one little short selection. Move out of your way because I'm hungry for the word on a Friday night. Thank you, Lord. Woo, thank you, God, for serving back on a Friday night. Corona couldn't keep us down. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah, God. For Friday night service, Lord. Lord, I thank you, God. 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 If you're not back in the days on a Friday night, even if Corona been here, some of us will be in the nightclub. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you for a Friday night service in the house of the Lord. Ain't nobody mad but the dumb, stupid devil. Ain't nobody mad but the devil. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, my God. Can't nobody do you like Jesus. Can't nobody do you like the Lord. Ain't nobody mad. Corona, you can't keep us down because we ain't nothing but a child of God. Thank you, Lord. With that being said, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. He's my Nobody, 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 nobody. 
Amen. Sister Pamela said, it's good to be back in Friday night services. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Hallelujah. For those that are waiting on the clearance from CDS, CDC, those that are waiting, hallelujah. Woo. Hey, God, we're back. We're back. Hallelujah. In Friday night services. Hallelujah. Oh, God. They're in the club tonight. They're in the club tonight. Hallelujah. They're in the club tonight. Woo. My God, my God. Everybody walking up in there. Got no fear. We're going to have a good time in the club tonight. Hallelujah. Woo. My God. There's nothing. Nothing like being in the house of the Lord. Nothing. Hallelujah. Woo. My God. Oh, God. Oh, God. When the Spirit of the Lord is in the place. Hallelujah, there is liberty. Hey, God. Hallelujah. Mm. Oh, bless the Lord. Amen, amen. Oh, I just thank God. I thank God. Hallelujah. Thank you, unique. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you. Mm. Hallelujah. Hey, God. And say, praise is what I do. Praise is what I do. Hey, God, when I want to be close. Hey, God. Hallelujah. Woo, my God, my God. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Hallelujah, God. Oh, God. Mm. Woo. My God. My God. Never the same. After this night, never the same. Huh? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. I was looking up. Mm, God, in the book of Joshua, praise the Lord. Oh, God, when they marched around. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Hey, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. We got the word coming tonight, huh? Hallelujah. Oh, God. We got a word coming tonight. Amen. Amen. And it's going to be explosive. Huh? Hey, God. We're going to make that blast song. Huh? Hey, God. We're going to bring down that wall. Huh? Hey, God. Mm. My God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I want to take this little time. To thank God for Pastor Darlene Richardson. Hallelujah. Hey, God, thank God. Hallelujah. Mm. She didn't count it robbery. Hallelujah. Coming all the way from Huge, South Carolina. I come to see him. I come to hear him. I'm going to support him. Amen. I thank God for her tonight. Amen. Right now, praise the Lord, we're going to bring forth the man of God. Hallelujah. And to bring him up. Or to introduce him to you will be none other than his father, my brother, brother Levi Cromedy. Amen, amen. Oh, God. To God be the glory. Man, it's time for the word now. Jesus take everything out of me, you know. Do Lord, thank you. And just one thing I don't need it, uh, to rehearsal for. Amen. I don't have to rehearsal to introduce my son. Because I am so proud of my son. Amen. My dad, my sister testified with my dad earlier. A couple of years ago, he didn't do anything for himself. Amen. But Lord, you see this right here? Amen. See this young man right here? Amen. This is a living witness. Amen. This is a testimony for, for life right here. Amen. A couple of years ago, my son can even move. Amen. Not a limb on his body. He can't even talk. He can do anything. But give God all the praises. Amen. Only thing he's going to do is give God the praises. And, and I'm so happy for him. God brought him from a mighty long way. Church. Yes, God is there with a wife. Amen. Two 
beautiful children, Blue Corn, Lola Lena, and a beautiful wife, Amber. And I love him daily, you know. And um, when he was looking for a church, I said, son, you got to keep yourself in the United Methodist now because we are Methodists. And uh, I introduced him to this pastor back there, Darlene Amen. Richardson. Yeah. And he was there ever since. He fell in love with Darlene. And I'm right. I, I'm so happy for him. Amen. You know, God bless him dearly. Amen. Got a wonderful job. Graduated from college. I mean, right. what, more can, what more can a father ask for? Amen. You know, hey, I can walk proudly. Amen. I can walk so proud. Amen. Man, Amen. God is good. Amen. God is so good. Yes, God is so good. Yes. So, I'm going to sing just a little piece of a song. Just a little piece. You know. Amen. I had to jump up. My son preaching tonight. I had to jump up. <laughs> because that old devil was going to hold me down. I told my wife, I ain't used to traveling in the nighttime no more. It must have been a year now. You know, I had my mask on and all that coming here all tight up. I got to get loose a little bit. Just give me just a little minute so I can get loose. So I can take my legs just a God is so good, you know. And I'm always so happy. To support my son. Whenever he called me, Lord, I'm eager. I'm eager to go. You know, I'm eager to go. So God is good, church. I know we all were running for our life. I know we all was going through some trial and tribulation. I know God has brought us through. And one thing my sister didn't say all the testimony she said about daddy. Daddy is 87 years old. Amen. 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 <laughs> That is 87 years old and he's going through a lot and God brings him through, through so many things, you know. So I'm going to take this a little piece of this song so y'all can hear the words, you know. I'm running for my life. I'm running because I want to see Christ. I know he will. In my mind, I'm going to run.
you need not to worry. He knows if he can attempt to that. He can tell you that if you will worry, you don't need to pray. Don't play with God now. Amen. God here, I'm telling you. Yeah, every time he tells go pray. Amen. That's my idea. Oh, I'm just grateful tonight. I'm I'm alone when they talk. I'm gonna let y'all pray, but I'm gonna hear my son. I'm gonna hear my son. That's what I came for. Oh God, I enjoy everything. That's all. Amen. I just keep praying for it. Amen. 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 Come on, put your hands together for our happy. Oh, uh, come on, let's put our hands together for the Lord. Oh, uh, come on, let's put our hands together for the Lord, man. Uh. Come on, we can have a good time. We can have a good time on a Friday night, amen? Come on, man. Someone said a breakthrough about to come through, but is it for you? Come on, I want my breakthrough. So I'll send on your breakthrough, but accept your breakthrough, amen? Yes, 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 yes. Come on now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on now. Yeah, yeah. You step back and you close your eyes, you might think 200 people in this place, amen? Yeah. But he said, all I need is two or three to bless my name so I can rain down manna from heaven. How many people are going to manna from heaven right now? Wow, come on, come on. Come on now. Come on now. They said we ain't come to play church. We come to high church. So you got to understand the difference. See, when you play in church, you play in church so somebody can see you. But when you have in church, you praise in God. So how many people came in here to praise God on a high church? Take your time to find out. See, I came here just to preach, amen. I came here just to glorify my God, amen. But see, if you don't want me to glorify you, you're in the wrong place at the wrong time. But see, God's been too good to me, amen. Now, I know I'm not back in Huge. I know I'm not back in Moscona. I know I'm not home in Goose Creek. But one thing I know, that my God goes everywhere with me. So no matter where I'm at, I'm carrying my God with me. How many of you want to serve a God like that? Ah, oh, see, I, I'm, I'm starting to get riled up, amen? Amen, but I got to stick to the topic, amen? Amen? I, I got to get the formalities out the way, amen? But at the same time, I'm going to let God have his way, amen? Because I'm a servant of the true and living God, amen? First of all, I just want to give thanks to the pastor of this church. Pastor Jefferson, thank you. Come on, let's give him a hand now. Yeah. Amen. Thank you for this wonderful invitation. He said he saw, he think he saw me when I was a little boy. And then I grew up to be a man. I'm bigger than him. Amen. Ain't God good? Ain't God good? I also want to thank. I want to thank. Oh, God. I don't know what to say about my my never quit and always working Auntie Flossie, amen? This woman will pray for you, with you, and without you, all in the same breath, amen? That's a good, faithful woman of God. I want to always, I always thank God for my father, amen? Oh, man, he talk about my story. I love it when he tells his story from when he was down and God brought him to this point. Now, that's a testimony, amen? And I also want to thank my mother. Didn't y'all love my mother's testimony? I tell you, she don't talk much, but when she does talk, oh, my God, I'm going to sit down and let her have her way, amen? It's good to watch people give glory to God, amen? And... And my surprise, I'm so thankful that my cousin pastor, the Reverend Darlene Richardson, I, oh, yeah, let's give her a hand, amen? Amen, come on now. Let's give her. Let's, let's give her a hand, because I, I swear, sometimes I want to give up, and she said, no, 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 no. You put your hand to the plow, don't take them off. Don't take them off. Because she believed that there's greater work to be done. And there's enough work for all of us. Amen? Amen. 
You can't do it all by yourself. Ain't that right, Pastor? You can't do it all by yourself. Amen? I, I promise you, since it's a Friday night, and I'm going to try. I can't make no promises now. But I'm going to try to get home before my kids go to sleep. And since it ain't no school night, they normally get in the bed by a quarter to 12. And by my watch, it says it's 8.20, so I got ample time, amen? amen. But I'm going to do what that says the Lord, amen? Amen. amen. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open up with a, with a prayer, because let's, let's go ahead. I'm, ready. I'm excited about the word, amen? Let us pray, Heavenly Father. It is your humble servant, Antoine, again, Father God. Lord, I'm asking you, Lord, that you remove me, decrease me so that you may increase. Father God, allow your people to hear from heaven, Father God. Allow manna to fall down on this place, Father. Lord, I thank you for the ones that are here, Father God. I thank you for how you are blessing us, and I thank you for the movement, the shift in the atmosphere that's about to take place, Father God. Lord, I'm claiming victory in your name. Lord, I'm claiming healing in your name. Lord, I'm claiming financial freedom in your name right now, Father God. Lord, I'm claiming all these things, victory, everything, Father God, everything that is good in your name, Father God. Lord, I pray, Father God, that with these words that you have given your servant, Lord, I pray that it touches some, penetrates someone's heart, Father God. Allow them to run and go tell someone else about the goodness of Jesus, Father God. Heal the land, Father God. Heal us right now, Father God. And Father God, when praying days are over, Lord, and when singing days are over, Lord, Lord, I pray that you give us a home somewhere in your kingdom, Father God, where we can praise your name in a better manner. And let the people of God say amen, 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 amen. and amen. amen. I'm going to go into my scripture lesson. I'm coming from the gospel of St. John's, amen. I'm coming at verse number 11. And I'm starting at, ver I'm in chapter 11 and verse number 43, amen? And I'm going to read 43 through 46 in your hearing. Now y'all got to pray with me because God sent me one way. And then after Bible study on Wednesday night, he sent me another way, amen? And they say obedience is way on better than sacrifice. So I'm going to be obedient to the word. And I believe this first sentence sums us up tonight very good. Verse 43 says, After he said this, he shouted with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came, bond hand and foot, and linen striped with his face and wrapped in a cloth. Jesus said unto them, Unwrap him and let him go. Yeah. Therefore many of the Jews who came to see Mary and saw what he did, did not believe him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. My thought, theme, or subject that I want to leave with you all tonight. In the midst of trouble, he knows my name. In the midst of trouble, he knows my name. Now let's take a deeper look into the story, amen? Now everyone knows here that in this story Lazarus was dead and when you look at death death is like the end of everything amen they say ain't no coming back from the dead they say that once you put something down let it go because 
if you don't come in the nick of time, it'll be too late. Amen? But I'm just stopped by to tell y'all that I'm so thankful that in the midst of my trouble, Jesus still knows my name. I just stopped by to let you all know that just because you're going through tough times, just because things are not going your way, I want to ask you to just hold on a little while longer because in the midst of everything you're going through, he still got you on his mind. And if you're on the mind of Jesus, then you know right then that he knows your name. Now how does Jesus get to know your name? By you staying in constant communication with him, amen? See, you can't just put my Jesus down and then pick him back up. See, that's not how this relationship works. You got to get deep and intimate with Jesus, amen? You got to get so deep and intimate that when he hears your inner thoughts, your inner prayers, he starts to move at that moment, amen? But we're looking at this time with Lazarus, amen? We understand that Jesus is having to perform another miracle. How many of you know that right now, that when you're going through trials and tribulations, Jesus has you down because someone else needs to see just how powerful he is, amen? See, just because you're down, that never means that you're out. See, because you're down, you all, we have to remember, church, that we are walking testimony for everyone around us. So at that moment when we are down and people not count us out, when we go into our secret closet and we continue to pray when we come out we come out as the manufacturers and the glory of the God because Jesus has proven that he knows my name see so that's why I don't get weary when I start to get down and sad because I understand that Jesus still answers and hears my prayers amen that's why see this is a powerful lesson because it teaches us that when the disciples was around because see they even and doubted Jesus at that time because they came to Jesus and said, Rabbi, you were four days too late, amen? You, they said, Rabbi, if you had just come a little bit early, amen, maybe you could have saved them. But my Bible tells me that Jesus wept when he found out that Lazarus died, amen? So like my pastor taught us, that means that Jesus feels what we feel. So when we in a deep trouble, don't you know that Jesus is ready to come and save us? But what's holding us back, y'all? See, that's what I love about God. Because when man won't want to say, well, not now because I got something to do. Jesus will stop everything that he has to come see about his child because he knows my name. See, I don't know if he knows your name, but my Jesus knows my name. Because I have been in trouble before. And when you look at me now, I'm a different person because I have changed. Because I got a relationship with Jesus. Amen? Now, now, what am I trying to say, church? I'm trying to say, don't look at every bad situation as a bad situation. See, a bad situation is just another situation for Jesus to prove just how bad he really is. Amen? How many of you want God to show up and show out in your life? See, he can't always show up when things are looking good because then, see, I won't pay you any, any attention if you're always looking good. But if I see you down and out, and then I say you tell a testimony. See, God is telling us that's why our testimony is so important. See, once he done brought you out. Your testimony is not for you anymore. Your testimony is for somebody else who's going through the same thing that don't know how to come out. So they need your testimony. See, God don't put nothing on us that we can't handle. So when we bring us out of what he done brought us through, we got to tell somebody how good God has been. See, we don't like to tell about the goodness because they said we're too long-winded. That's all right. Be long-winded because when I get into heaven, I'm never going to stop shouting. I'm never going to stop singing. I'm never going to stop praising. Them. But see, you can, but I won't. Amen? See, my God has been too good for too long for too many. But we like to sit back and look cute. All right. 
God said, I don't need no cute soldiers, amen? I need somebody that's going to get down. I need somebody that's going to go out. I need somebody else. Because y'all got to remember now, when they said Lazarus was stink, amen? For four days, he was stink. So that's telling me that God, that Jesus went down in the stink and went and called his name personally. See, that's that personal relationship. How many of us have a personal relationship with Jesus so that when you go through trouble, he's going to call out your name. He's going to say, Levi, I'm coming, amen? He's going to say, Pastor Jefferson, I'm coming, amen? Because he knows. See, some of us act like we ain't never been in trouble, amen? Some of us act like we ain't never went through nothing, amen? But I'm so glad. That I don't have to wait on you to come save me, amen. But I got a Jesus that don't mind moving heaven and earth to come and see about me, amen. In the midst of trouble, y'all, he knows my name. He knows our name so much. There's a song that comes out that says, you got to answer to your name, amen. It said, when my God calls, you've got to answer to your name, amen. So that means he knows all of our names, amen. But how well do he know you? No, no, how well do you know him should be the next question, amen. Don't just sit down and, and, and praise him when things are going good. Once everything going well with you, why don't you pray for somebody that don't have what you have? Why don't you help somebody else that needs what you need? Because God said he loves a cheerful giver. Now, y'all got to understand. Because I was like, how you mean you love a cheerful giver? Is it all about my tithes and offerings? No. He said giving can be any form. If you praying for somebody else, that's a gift, y'all. If you lend somebody else a hand, that's a gift, y'all. Instead of talking about somebody, why don't you talk up somebody, amen? That's another gift, amen? So that when you get into trouble, he can say, no, 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 that's my child. Leave him alone because he knows our name, amen? Man, I wish I had somebody in here that can understand or that can relate to what I'm saying when I say in the midst of trouble. Jesus knows our name. Now this, this thing got so good because I, I felt so good knowing that Jesus is my shelter. He is my safe place. He's my beginning and he's my end. So I know that as long as I got King Jesus, everything is going to be all right. As long as me and Jesus is together, everything is going to be okay. Because, see, I, I remember that every now and then my dad was sing a song that says, I am satisfied. Amen. How many of you tonight are satisfied with Jesus? How many of you tonight are satisfied with what he has done for you? How many of you are satisfied for where he has placed you? See, I'm satisfied with my Jesus. I'm satisfied for what he has done for me because once I've gotten closer to him, ain't nobody can tear me away from the love of God because Jesus knows my name. Now, Jesus is saying, and, and, and part of all of that, amen, he wants us to remember one thing because he took us back to verse number 41. And at verse 41, it says, So they removed the stones, and Jesus raised his eyes and hands and said, Father, I thank you that you heard me. Let's look at that. The stones could be whatever is in your path. Amen? So that stone is the thing that Jesus is going to remove. But before he removed the stone, he wants you to give him thanks. Amen. See, yeah, yeah, I, I, no, no, somebody got to get that. Before, Mama, Mama, they said, anybody know what faith is? Does anybody know what faith is? So now, now, if you know what faith is, right, y'all stay with me, right? Now, if you know what faith is, right, so now you know how to unlock the door, right? 
So now if you gonna pray for something, amen, but you ain't got it yet, amen. But then what God is saying, you don't have what you asked for just yet. But before you ask for it, I want you to tell me thank you for what you already don't have. Somebody got to get that one. I'm, I'm going to try it one more time. We all know, we understand what faith, and we get the prayer. But do we understand how we got to thank Him in the midst of what we're going through and the trouble that we are having and give Him thanks for what He has already done even though He hasn't even done nothing yet? Huh? How many of you know that when you start to thank Him for things that He hasn't even done yet, Things start to change in your life, amen. The atmosphere starts to shift in your life, amen. Because you are thanking God, showing God that I'm about to activate my faith and prayer so that when I get what I have, my heart will be able to receive it. See, God says you don't have what you don't have because your heart is not ready to receive what I have to give to you. So until you are able to give me thanks, but things that you don't even have, then you will always be in the same place. They say walking around in a circle, amen. Y'all know about the how they was walking around for 40 years in a circle? Why? Because they were not prepared for what God had for them. He had to weed out some people so that they could so the ones that was prepared wouldn't get mixed and mangled. Because you are with the company who you keep, amen. See, you can have everything and going well, but that one little friend over there, right, can mess everything up for you. God is saying, don't worry about your friends and what they may or may not say. You keep thanking me no matter what you're going through. And it's amazing because God gave me confirmation because he told me Job. And then tonight we talked about Job, amen. They said, Job lost everything, amen. But yet, he still trusts God. How many of us in here tonight, well, we won't say, if I lose everything, I'll trust him. But how many of y'all, if God really allowed the devil to take everything, how many of y'all still going to trust him? Better yet, better yet, how many of us are still going to thank him for things that we want before we even get it? See now, see now, now I'm starting to understand this thing, right? See, the more we start to pray, the more our hearts start to open. And when our hearts start to open, that's when we receive the gift of the things that God has for us. See why you ain't got all your gifts? Because your heart too small, amen? But once you open up, because he does this, open up your heart, amen? So once you open up your heart to him and let, allow him to pour in his glory and his riches, then you will be able to receive everything that he has. Because the good book says that eyes have not seen. Oh, uh, come on now. We got some Bible scholars in the house, amen? Listen, eyes have not seen. Huh? Huh? So we have not received or heard or seen what God has for us because our hearts are sometimes just a little bit too small, amen? But if we can just open up our hearts, just start giving, you know what? I dare y'all to just start saying, thank you, Jesus. Come on, 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 come on, thank you, Jesus. Come on, I dare somebody to tell them thank you. I dare somebody to lift his name up. I dare somebody to praise him. I dare somebody to say, I love you, Jesus. Come on, man.
be praising, we will be lifting them up. Because I know that my God is an all time God. Because I know that my God will never leave me, nor forsake me. See, He may work it out for you, and He may work it out for me. But one day, He's coming back. And when He comes back, I want Him to say, Servant of God. I said, Servant, Servant of God. Well done. You've been faithful over a few. They talked about you all along. They beat you up and they catch you. They knock you down and they spit on you. They cut you and they lied on you. But you held on and you kept the faith. In the midst of trouble, I knew your name. In the midst of trouble, you called on me. In the midst of trouble, I looked you up. In the midst of trouble, I exalt you. In the midst of trouble, I helped you. In the midst of trouble, you called me. I love you. And I love you. And I love you. How many of you can say I love the Lord? Not because of what he's done for you, but for who he is. See, I love him because he first loved me. And I'm so thankful that in the midst of trouble, he knows my name. my name. Yeah. Hallelujah, God. Thank, you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen, amen. Yeah. God is good. Yes. God is good, y'all. Yeah. Amen. I bless God for this Friday night service. Praise yeah. the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank God for the word on tonight. Hallelujah. It just does me. Oh, God, so good. Hallelujah. God is good. Hallelujah. I'm not going to say anything else, but I thank God. For my nephew, the minister of Crumbity on tonight, I thank God for him. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. We as the Crumbity, praise God, we all say we're going to represent, praise the Lord. His granddaddy always told him, don't mess up my name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And praise the Lord, we are going forward. Hallelujah. Yeah, we've been through some things, and we're still going through some things. But praise God, we are going for us. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We know where our help comes from. Amen. I bless God. Amen, amen, amen. Glory to God. I just thank God. Amen for all things right now. Praise the Lord. I'm not going to try and dampen anything else, because we're going to take that word. Amen. And we're going to feed on that tonight. We can lay in the bed. Hey, God. And guess what? Those of you that's got that social media, praise God, you can go back. Go back and you can listen to it again. Yeah. Amen. I feel yeah. sorry for those that are sitting at home thinking that this is it. You know, this is service. You're watching the TV and you're watching your phone. You're watching the TV you're watching your phone. You're missing out on all this good here. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I just bless the Lord for a triumph church house ministry amen i bless god amen for a pastor that don't mind you say the door closed oh no door open hallelujah amen the doors open yes yeah we can do our social distancing you can wear your mask praise the lord but you know before i come in here i said lord seal the door Shield the door, the blood. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Amen. I think about the children of Israel coming out of the land of Egypt. Praise God when the death angel went through. Hallelujah. How many of you know the story? He said, put the blood over the doorpost. Huh? Hey, God. So when the death angel come, hey, God. Hallelujah. Woo! My God, my God, my God. Mm. My daddy said, I told him, you know, praise the Lord, they, um, they got the, the vaccine for you, you can take your shot. Daddy said, take the shot for what? I said, daddy, you know, so they say, you know, so you want to get the virus. If I get the virus, I get the virus. You know, if I die, I'm going on to be with the Lord. It's all right. It's all right. Amen, amen. Somebody said the other day, oh, somebody else died. Oh, man, they're going before me. Oh, God, we're going to see the king. Hallelujah. Now, those that do not have this hope, 
in them, I feel for them. Yeah, yeah. You better be scared by dying. But I tell you, I'm going to see the king. Hey, God, when this whole life, oh, God, leave this body. I'm going to see the king. Hallelujah. No more sickness. No more dying. No more crying. Oh, God, I don't have to worry. Oh, God, none of this no more. Oh, God, living with the king in heaven. Oh, God, in the midst. Praises all day long. All day long. It said, will be no end. Sabbath will have no end. Amen, amen. Praise God. I just think uh, I'm happy tonight. I'm happy tonight. Amen. I thank God. Amen. I tell you, mm, I feel good. Amen. The song simply said, millions didn't make it. But I was one of the ones who did. And you ought to give God a hand tonight. Uh, being one of the ones who did. And not that he have respect a person. But as the minister on tonight said, I firmly believe I'm one of the ones who made it. Not because of my goodness. But simply because he knows my name. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, when we make these sacrifices, uh, you may never see your name in lights. Most of us never get in, uh, mentioned in books. But God knows. God knows. And, and tonight, TCH, we thank you. For you are better for coming. I sh I'm sure you're better for coming. And we thank God for you. Thank God for you being here in the house. Um, we say on um, Amen. Um, would you please stay? I also want to. Um, I want to thank this church, Triumph. This is my first time here. Hey. But I should have known it was okay because my auntie here, hey amen? <laughs> and I want to thank y'all for the hospitality. Because let me tell you something. If heaven, if heaven is a little bit like this hospitality, I can't wait to get there, hey amen? I just want to thank y'all for the warm gift and the yeah, open hearts and Reverend Richardson. They call me, we going to call them back. Amen. 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 Let us. We got you back. Okay, I love it. And if you throw it out there, I'll swim in it. Amen. If all hearts are clear, let's go ahead and we're going to close. Amen. Amen. Father God, we come now and we just want to tell you thank you for knowing our name. But we want to thank you for what you have done on tonight, Father God. But most importantly, Lord, we want to thank you for Friday night in Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus, man. And Father God, as we leave this place, Lord, but never ever your presence, we ask that you give us sweet travel and mercy as we travel from this place to our destination. In your son Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.